Hi, and congratulations on the purchase of your new mop. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to assemble and use your mop correctly. Now, the first thing you need to remember is that the mop head is made out of PVA. This is a very special material. This is not like any other sponge you've used before. When it dries, it's not unusual for it to have this little curvature like that. That's because when it dries, it gets hard and dry. So it resists mold and mildew and bacteria. It doesn't smell, it won't rip and tear very easily. In fact, it's designed to last you for years and years. So it's a good thing when it dries, but remember, if it starts to bend like that, that's perfectly fine and I'll show you why. When you're ready to move, use your mop, you just put it in a little bit of hot water or warm water. Now I just got a little bit of warm water here. And when this gets submerged into warm water, now remember, warm water works quickly, cold water might take you a little bit extra time, but it starts to get soft as it's in the water. Now you can submerge this while it's on your mop head in your bucket or in your sink, and in about 30 seconds to 45 seconds, and maybe even a minute or two, depending on how warm the water is, the mop head starts to get soft. Okay, so I have it in here for a few seconds and you could notice it's starting to get softer, but I could still feel some hard spots in the middle. So that means it's not entirely ready. Give it a couple more seconds until it's perfectly soft. Okay, so it was about a minute and now you can see my mop head is completely saturated and I could feel there's no hard uh, parts left inside. There's no dry parts. It's completely soft and ready to go. And if you notice, the mop head is nice and straight now and very flexible. This means it's ready to be put onto my mop head. Now to put the mop head together, basically there's three parts to your uh, kit. You basically can't really mess this up. You screw one into the other and you're ready to go. Obviously the handle with the plastic holding piece at the end goes on the end and now you're ready to go. Now you slide this through and this goes into a T position. You see that? It goes 180 degrees. So this T position is your ready to mop position, but if you need to, it can fold this way, T position, or this way. Now I wanna install this mop head, so what do I do? I take my nice and soft mop head and you can see on the bottom here, there's some tabs. Those tabs will get inserted into those little slots there. I also notice on the back, on the side of this mop head, there's a little end piece here, and the other side does not have an end piece. So you wanna put the end piece on the mop plate that will accept that end piece, and I'll show you what I mean. You just put those tabs right on top there, and you see it lays nice and flat, and then you just take this and push it to the side, and it clips in. You see that end piece slid right in there. Now to take it off, there's a little button on the bottom here. One side has a button, the other side doesn't. I'm going to push that button up and slide it to the side and it releases. So right on track, make sure everything's straight and slide it right in. And that easy, it stays on. Make sure all the tabs are in place so the mop head stays secure. Now you probably will not have to take this off again until you change it, because you can wet it in your sink or your bucket. You don't really have to take it off. Now, this is gonna actually go to the cleaning mode simply by having it in this T position, this is what I call the mopping position, you aim it to the side that has the little ringer and you let it flip up. You see that? Here's the T position when you're mopping. Now I wanna wring it out, I aim it to the side and I flip it up. It flips up by itself. Then you just hold it over here and one on the handle and then you just wring it out like that right on to, into your bucket or your sink or wherever. Now this is also your storage mode. You can hold it like this and store it that way, or you push it right through. I put it right back into my T position and I continue to mop my floor. So you could use any chemical you like. It's very durable. You could use your bleaches and your ammonias or nothing. This works great with just tap water. But I want you to remember it goes this way, T position, or this way, it's very easy to do. Now, we don't want you to touch the mop head. If you do it with your hand, it's a little resistance. Normally, you'll have it on the floor, you have that leverage, aim it to the side, then you let it flip up, you push it through, bring it out into your sink, and you're ready to go. If you have any questions, you got our 800 number, we're here for you anytime you have a question. And again, thank you for your purchase, enjoy mopping.